Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel and I am here with another Fantastic Ladies collab update. This is for the I Heart the 90s and this was created by Laura. I'll leave all the information listed in the description box below. If you'd like to hear how I did with this update, please stay tuned. So for this product, um, we can put in eight to 10 pan, uh, products that are rolling and they correspond with different prompts. So let me get on with what I have finished. Uh, well, no, how I've done this month. The first product um, I have in is for the prompt Beverly Hills 90210, the most expensive product. For that, I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, and this is in the shade Spotlight. This is absolutely gorgeous. My goal is to use it 10 times, and so far I've used it eight, and there it is right there. I have no problem using this. It is gorgeous. I will use it as much as I can, and... Um, it is definitely sticking around. The next product I have is for the Prompt Inflatable Furniture, a lightweight or airy product, and for that I chose the Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder, and it is done. I finished this. I really, really liked it, um, but I don't think it's something I can purchase anymore because I think that they discontinued it. For the Prompt Pogs, a product you used a couple of times when you first got it and haven't touched since, I chose for that my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, and my goal is to use it 10 times, and so far I've used it seven. I was able to make a new mark this time, so I'm excited that this is getting some progress. You know, I'm seeing the actual progress in the window there, so that's really cool. For the prompt, smells like teen spirit. Um, a scented product, for that I chose the Physician's Formula Blush in the shade Natural Glow. And I am seeing a dip in this. I don't know if you can, but I definitely can. Let me do a swatch of it for you. There it is right there. It is so pretty. I pretty much use this as a blush topper though. I don't really use it um, for like an all over blush because it is so light. For the prompt smells like teen, no, that was smells like teen spirit. For the prompt surge, a green product or packaging, for that I chose this CoverGirl color neutralizing primer. I haven't been able to make another mark again, but I think it's because it's like sucking in instead of going down. Um, my goal is to use this 10 times. I've used it eight and I really like it. I really feel like it cuts down my redness and I don't have to use as much foundation when I do that. So I definitely would repurchase another color neutralizing product after this. Actually, I have an Ofra corrector pot and once that's done, which will be like a million years, then maybe I'd roll something else in into my collection, but I really like that. For Pokemon, a product that reminds you of your favorite Pokemon, I have no idea. I don't have a favorite Pokemon. So I went online and looked at a whole bunch of them and I found Serena and she wears pink and she wants to be a queen. I mean, hello. So for that, I chose a pink blush from, this is Depotted from Unique. You can totally see the rings. I've had the rings in this forever. This is the one that I was panning last year and I still haven't hit pan, but I hit pan on the other one. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, um, my goal is to hit pan, maybe next time. Here is a swatch of it. So pretty, it's right there. And I think that once I do hit pan in this, cause I do have pan in the other unique one that I depotted, I think what I'm gonna do is take the two of them and Franken them together. And just have one Franken blush and be done with that. Um, for Marcarena, a Latin owned brand, I chose this shadow from Glam Light. This is from the Miracle Palette in the shade Heavenly. It keeps breaking, which is why you're seeing a ton more progress than what I really have. Um, let me do a swatch of this. It's a fine color. It's not my favorite. Um, my goal is to finish it off because it does keep crumbling. So I guess I'm going to finish it off like organically because it's just going to keep breaking. I mean, I can't do anything about that. It broke when I depotted it and it just keeps shattering. For Little Black Dress, 
a black product or packaging. For that, I chose this Laura Mercier Mini Caviar Stick in the shade Copper. My goal is to use half, and I'm just below that first line. I wasn't able to make a mark, um, but here it is right here. It is so pretty. Let me do a swatch of it. Look at that. It is really pretty. Um, this is a really nice one and done. Um, just, you know, swipe it on and then take a stiffer brush and blend it in and it's good to go. If I had two of the, like a darker one, then I could do the outer corner in the crease and that would be two and done and it, they'd be great. For Tamagotchi, a product that is not long lasting, for that I chose this e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cream. This is a super matte, creamy color. My goal is to use it 10 times and so far I've used it seven. I'm wearing it now with something over it but there it is right there. I can't wear it it's on its own, it's too light. And then finally for Bop It, a product with packaging that pumps, twists, or pulls. For that I chose the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. My goal is to get down to this bottom line and so far this is where I've gotten to, so I only have a little bit left. This should be rolling out next month. So, because I finished a product, that's the inflatable furniture one, I'm able to roll another product in. So let me get my phone and I brought up the Tiny Decisions app and let's roll and see what I get. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, I've never seen that show and Jaylon made a project to go along with that. And I know a lot, like Deb's watching it. Everybody's like watching it, but I have no idea. So this is a mythological creature themed project. I don't know, I'll be back. Okay, so I had, a, I had a hard time with this one. So for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the prompt was mythological creature themed product. And I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So I got thinking and I'm like, well, I really wanted to use more of my Cleona shadows. So I went into my Cleona collection and ah, lo and behold, there was one called Flame Blown. I'm gonna show you it in the pan and then next to it, I'm gonna show you my finger. It's like black, green, gr oh, it's so pretty, purple. Um, and here it is swatched. And where I got flame blown was I thought, okay, dragons are mythological and they blow flames. Right? Does that work? I think so. So my goal is to use that five times. So let's see, I'm gonna put five times. I'm excited though, I really wanted to use more. So now this is the second one I've pulled in. I'm working on a couple of JD Glow shadows, so yay. So yeah, so um, yeah, there's my update for I Heart the 90s. Uh, this is another one that's like after my heart because you know, I'm a 90s teenager, college girl. Um, so if you liked this update, please give it a thumbs up and if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Bye.